Hi, this is just a video showing my new uh, Hackintosh that I built um, with the help of the tutorials found on uh, Tony Max 86. Uh, I'll put a link to all the parts that I used in the description. Um, but right now, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. It was, uh, you know, not that hard to, to put together if you're somewhat familiar with building a computer, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just doing a few tests here. Um, so the Cinebench, uh, while well, I'm running ScreenFlow and a few other things at the same time, as well as Premiere Pro here. Um, so I'm going to cancel that. But without having these other things sort of running in the background, uh, as well as a few other things, uh, it's 88 frames a second. Now, I've, I've had it up to with nothing running, it, it goes to 112 frames a second. No clue what that means. Anyway, it's an i7 uh, CPU. You can see, well, there's my 112 was the result before this one. So uh, that's fine. That's great. Uh, some other things just to help you out if you decide to do this. This is basically what I have here. It just only has eight gigabytes of memory. I'm using a, a 270 R9 270X Sapphire, and it shows up as this, you know, an HD 7XX 4000 megabytes. Don't worry about trying to change this to an R9 270X. I think it's possible, but I wouldn't bother because this thing is pretty stable as is. Uh, I have two monitors on uh, running on it. No problem, two monitors plugged in. A uh, couple problems with the monitors though. Uh, one's HDMI and the other is DVI. And when I turn everything off and I turn it back on, if the DVI is in, I just get two gray monitors until I unplug the uh, DVI uh, and then plug it back in and then everything comes up. So it's sort of like unplug, plug in and it's back to normal, but I never turn off my Mac anyway, so it's only something to remember. And also the audio, if uh, things, if it goes to sleep, uh, the computer, when it comes back on, the audio is gone, which is really strange, but that's super easy to fix. Uh, and I fix it on my normal Mac anyway, my Mac Pro 2010, because um, I was having problems with my external drives being corrupted constantly since Mavericks every time the computer went to sleep. So uh, the trick for that was just never have the computer sleep and just sleep the monitor. Uh, that was on my real Mac because my external drives were constantly being corrupted and one actually got totally destroyed with three terabytes of stuff on it. So that was with a regular Mac, never mind a Hackintosh. So, uh, but just putting this to sl not putting the computer to sleep solved the audio problem because the monitor would turn off, turn back on, the audio is fine. Also, I recommend using Carbon Copy Cloner and make a copy. This is my, I'm actually running off my backup right now. Make a backup to a separate hard drive. It's actually not a backup, it's a clone, and you can boot from either of these. So if you install an update on your, your hard drive from Apple and it, it breaks something, well, just just uh, boot up with your, your backup drive and your, you remember not to, <laughs> don't not to update that Mac update and maybe make a copy, recopy back to your other one. So I just go back and forth with these if I ever have a problem. Uh, and, you know, this is an SSD. This is a, a regular uh, spinning drive with three, ter three, uh, well, three terabytes on it. Uh, so I'm going to use that as my, my storage one because I partitioned 500 gigs for the operating system and the other 2.5 for just storage on this computer. So uh, I may actually try to install Windows not on a third drive, a separate drive, and um, be able to boot f with Mac and uh, Windows on this this computer. So it really seems a really fast. I've just um, tried playing back some 4K material I just went out and filmed. Uh, 
that's my in the backyard. Let's see what I got here. Is this 4K? I'm not even sure. Let's see, window, movie inspector. Uh, yeah, this is some 4K stuff. So on my Mac Pro 2010, which cost me four grand, <laughs> I can't play playback 4K material. But on this one, oh, it's in slow mo mode. Here I'll play back regular, something more normal. Uh, is this Chloe? I think this is my daughter. Yes, this is Easter. So we're playing at 4,000. This is actually Cinema 4K. Not one stutter. We're at, you see we're frames per second is the actual frame rate of the computer, of the file, so the data rate is 97. Actually can play another 4K in the other monitor as well at the same time and they don't, no stuttering whatsoever. No stuttering whatsoever and uh, there was no problem playing back 4K video, so uh, that was the main reason for this build is I, so I can play back 4K without it really stuttering badly, which it was on my $4,000 Mac Pro. Uh, this build is probably about, I had some parts already, maybe 800 bucks. So uh, not too bad for that. And I'm up to Yosemite now. I tried updating to uh, Yosemite on my Mac Pro, my real Mac, and it totally messed it up. So. Um, I'm staying on Mavericks over there, and uh, I'll use this Hackintosh if I want to use Yosemite, <laughs> which I do. So uh, that's just a fun thing I did uh, today.